And I'm just gonna jump right into it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Sony, these Decepticons never stop. They're still out there dry snitching, talking down on Xbox, all about the whole Call of Duty Activision deal. Now, these little greedy, grimy, scheming, backdoor deal having low down snakes have uh, have some audacity to go to UK get them on the phone and decides to tell them hey man look we don't feel like this right here will be good if pretty much Xbox acquire Activision Blizzard deal pretty much Call of Duty Candy Crushes um, I think um, Crash Bandicoot so many more other games on the way so so many more other games on the way so being that they already have Bethesda pretty much Starfield um, and Redfall they're already extremely upset about that they couldn't get Starfield as like a time exclusive deal but yet and still, it's okay if they go and lock down Spider-Man, you know, Wolverines of the world, Final Fantasies, Resident Evil, time exclusive and exclusive deals. Now the new Harry Potter game have some exclusive like DLC or something. And nobody seems to have a problem with that. There's nothing always oh, just business, always oh, just business when it comes to Sony. But when it comes to Xbox and PC and even Nintendo, now it's the issue. Really mainly Xbox. It's mainly mainly Xbox, but they do kind of want to keep stuff from other platforms because that's that because you gotta think PC and Nintendo still is competition. So you still don't exactly want to let all of you know your exclusives go to every platform like like for example it's okay you know that uk didn't see an issue with spider-man being locked down from xbox oh oh they let it go to pc but they didn't let it come to xbox so nobody sees a problem with that that's not an issue though then none of that came up everything came up how this can be pretty much like a bad thing how is this a bad thing? Anti-competitive? You know, they're pretty much saying it low-key. Oh, it's anti-competitive. There's no game can amount to Call of Duty, so that's why we need to get it off of Xbox. They don't even want to compete. Sony don't even want to compete. All they want to do is be greedy and steal from their own fan base and steal from the rest of the gaming community. Lock down exclusive deals, but nobody else can do it. It's like a little kid, a little crybaby that's always mad and upset. Always mad and upset about everything. Nobody, you, you, you can't have nothing unless it goes through Sony first approval. If it don't go through Sony, if they don't get in the phone doing all these little backdoor deals, all these little exclusive little snake deals, and they're selling their fan base snake oil to make, they're brainwashing the whole entire gaming community. Everybody is brainwashed thinking that this deal is okay. Except for the pretty much the Xbox fans. So, so you mean to tell me they can just walk over to the UK and just say, I don't think the deal is, is, you know, profitable for us. I think it's going to ruin gaming. I feel like it's going to pretty much Xbox is going to brainwash people to go out and buy Xbox or PC or get in the cloud gaming X cloud ecosystem, pretty much the game pass ecosystem, but nobody's going to be looking over here at PlayStation. Due to the fact they're sabotaging their own console, nobody's saying nothing about that. They're 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 hiking the price up. So why 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 did that come up in the conversation in the article? Oh, you had to you had to make a thirty a summary a thirty five point summary. You had to make almost you had to just over exaggerate the whole entire thing to make it seem like this is such a bad thing. After clearly clearly these dodo birds over there at sony 
front office clearly xbox said they're not taking call of duty off but it's still an issue because they don't want it to go to game pass that's the biggest issue that's what all of this bickering and arguing and all going through all these regulations is all over game pass if the game was just going to be bought and it was just gonna just Xbox was gonna still own it, you know what I'm saying? But 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 Sony, we feel like man, we're kind of paying you to bring you know Call of Duty pretty much over here to PlayStation. So Sony don't want to lose. They don't want to take a L nowhere, but they want to charge their developers to do crossplay. They want to charge their upcharge their fans an extra thirty percent. Just to download DLCs and other little microtransactions that they're doing, they want to steal five billions of dollars from their fan base, and now they just got caught up. Now they're actually being sued for that, and they're making cheap consoles that's breaking on people. They're actually being sued for that as well. So that's probably another five or ten billion. Then they lost twenty billion when the whole entire Activision Call of Duty deal was announced. So they lost 20 billion in stocks. So they're down bad right now. Sony is down bad right now. Yeah, they're the market leaders, but they're not talking about all these L's that they're taking. Sony is taking a lot of L's right now. So if this deal goes through, then they, they pretty much know they have a sinking ship. The ship has a leak in it right now. The ship is sinking. The boat is slowly sinking at Sony. Sony is down bad, y'all. I'm talking about they get mad whenever Xbox claps back. Okay, for example, they've been doing all these little low-down, dirty, greedy, grimy snakes. Been doing all of these exclusive deals over the years. I'm talking about, man, Xbox been down bad for years. And now they get one triple A banger under their belt hands down to top everything and sony goes crazy they can't take it the fanboys can't take it they don't want nothing to come to pc they don't want nothing to come to xbox they only they only want sony playstation to exist that's it they don't want no competition from nintendo from sega from atari from xbox from pc only thing the fanboys want sony fanboys and sony ponies want is playstation 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 now there's one key thing that is wrong with that is one key thing that is wrong with that you have the the ultimate anti-consumer company you have the ultimate anti-consumer company and you want them to be the only one in the market right now you don't want no competition from nobody else you only want sony to be the top dog are you insane you know how you know how horrible gaming would be with no competition you have to have competition and everything look at the auto engine for cars you think cars will be this fast look this good if it was only one car out there on the road we all we all drove one type of car we all had a tesla that's it nothing else never had engine cars no combustible engines only one car out there would you just want to just buy just a, a tesla only or would you want a variety of things you can choose from you want a variety of things you can choose from. You don't just want to just have a Tesla. Come on now. Let's be real for a second. The Sony fanboys, they don't want no competition. And they're, and they're rooting for the greediest, grimiest company in the world right now, Sony. And some of those people, some of those fanboys stand behind them thinking it's okay to do a price hike in all these different countries, which is causing another issue. Cause everybody's starting to look at Xbox a little funny. Like, how come you didn't get that price hike? You know what I'm saying? So they're starting to think it's some shading that's going on right there because Sony headquarters is here. So they're thinking, okay, now there's the favoritism. So so Sony knows. Let me go ahead and spark up a, another some more smoke over here in the UK. Then we had some smoke down there in Brazil. Like they're trying to do everything in their power to sabotage this deal, which is is actually hurting. It's going to hurt the gamers because if this deal doesn't go through, a lot of gamers on Xbox Game Pass and PC and cloud gaming will be affected by this. Now, do you think, you know, 
fanboys, Sony fanboys or Sony ponies, do you think they care? Because they only want PlayStation. But if there's no, you gotta understand, Xbox help with the multi-plat games as well. You idiots. Do you see what's going on here? Like, if you're complaining about Xbox, they're shelling out all this money to these developers to help them create games. If these games get better, they're going to get better and better because they're going to be multi-plat games come to PlayStation as well. Dodo. That's why I said they're brainwashed by Sony. They don't even know what's really going on behind closed doors. They just rooting for a plastic box that they grew up on like I did. See, I'm just a casual gamer. I'm not a fan, boy, so I'm not going to choose sides. I just call it how I see it. That's my opinion. That's how I feel. You know, you're, you're entitled to feel how you feel as well. But at the same time, this is not right. This is not right for them trying to stop big AAA bangers from being acquired by a, a juggernaut that's going to make gaming better for everybody. For PC, Xbox, Xbox Game Pass, Nintendo, Cloud Gaming. They are making multi-plat games as well as exclusive games to consoles. Everybody should have an exclusive game. Halo should never go on PlayStation. God of War should never go to Xbox. I agree with that. But at the same time, it's no problem. It's a problem when it comes to Xbox trying to pretty much buy Call of Duty. Now that's a problem. That's the, oh, 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 hold the press. Stop everybody, oh, it's an uproar. But oh, when, when Spider-Man got locked down, did, did you see, did you see Xbox going to Brazil trying to stop that deal, trying to stop? Did you see them going to Marvel, knocking on Marvel's door, front door saying, boom, 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 hey Marvel, please stop this deal. Do not make Spider-Man exclusive to, to just PlayStation. Nobody sees the issue with, that's my biggest problem with this whole entire thing. Like, everyone avoids that. Now it's on PC, but it's still not on Xbox. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're still locking it down from a huge gaming community, from from millions of fans that love Spider-Man. Now here's another thing. They want to get in the movies. They want to get bigger in the movies. They want to start their own Spider-Verse. So you want Xbox fans to support the movie Spider-Verse, all of the Spider-Man movies, right? So you want them to support that. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. But you don't want them to support the game? Make this make sense. These Decepticons don't know what they want. They are so bipolar. One minute, they want you to support the movie. The next minute, they don't want the game to come to Xbox because they want it to be exclusive. They want to try to lock that fan base into their ecosystem, to the PlayStation ecosystem, so they can lock you behind, gatekeep, and lock you behind that $70 price tag, and they know you don't want to get out of it because those triple A bangers are addictive. That's like kryptonite. So they know this. They know this, guys. They know that. And But when, whenever Xbox claps back and try to get Call of Duty exclusive, now it's an issue. It's a problem. They're traveling all across the world. They're taking vacations. They're hating at a top tenner. In these gaming streets, Sony have gotten out of control with the hate. We 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 don't we we can't make nothing to rival Call of Duty. You don't want to. You're lazy. You're they're turning their own developers lazy at Sony. They just want them to do remakes and remasters and uh, live off microtransactions. I heard the stories. I heard the stories. That's why they don't bring that many games out because they know you're going to be forced in to stand on that same game for a long period of time if developers don't feel like they can compete with the AAA banger that they already have out. So they're lazy and they just keep dropping new DLCs and new little add-ons to games to make people stay on that game long periods of time I'm not really trying to say GTA, but I am trying to say, say Grand Theft Auto without saying Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> Perfect example. They don't even want to make a new one because they already know this one, it brings, it racks in so much money for them because they know they have the perfect recipe that nobody else can make or compete with. Saints Row trash for what everybody else is saying i ain't tried it but you know everybody else is saying that game is hot garbage now you may have some fans out there that say otherwise they may love it so you know everybody we're all entitled 
to like what we like and have our own opinions on things, you know? And that's just how it is, man. You gotta understand, man, for every step PlayStation tries to move forward, Sony pulls them back two more steps. So you can't really look at this Call of Duty Activision deal as a bad thing. You know, a lot of people are gonna look at it like they're trying to build Monopoly, they're trying to take over gaming. Oh, so all of these lockdown exclusive games, Sony wasn't trying to, thinking that this is gonna be that game that is gonna help Sony lock down the gaming industry, locking down Spider-Man, what, what would be the need to do that, to make to make an IP that doesn't even belong to you, that you did not create? This character's been here way before PlayStation time. Okay, you did not create Spider-Man. So what would make you think in their mindset they thought that was a great business deal, right? Right or wrong, okay? If the shoe fits, wear it. So what they decided to do, let's lock down one of the most biggest characters in the whole world that we know everybody love, and then we're just gonna lock it down to one plastic box and pretty much make the other team mad, make team Xbox mad, but team PlayStation over here celebrating and happy. Now when they go get Call of Duty, oh now is everybody over here, all these fanboys over here crying, over here, all these Sony fanboys over here crying. <clears throat> Stop the deal. They don't need this, don't need to go through. This is gonna hurt gaming. This is gonna hurt gaming. It's gonna hurt the gaming industry. There's nobody can compete, you know? This is a monopoly. Really? From what I was told, you at least need to own at least 80 to 85 percent of the whole entire industry, which is Microsoft does not. Number two, how are you going to be the market market leaders, but you're crying like you're at the bottom, like a little baby? These Decepticons don't care about you. I just want to drill that into these fanboys' head so that they can get it. You know, Sony is over here claiming all oh, these just over exaggerating so hard right now. You're gonna go to UK, you're gonna go to Brazil and dry snitch? Like word is not gonna get back to us in these gaming streets? Like we don't like we're not gonna figure out what you're over there doing. Like we're not gonna figure out that Sony have been stealing from their own fan base. That Sony once upon a time was going to take movies off of Xbox that they own, off of Xbox movie screaming, live screaming. Now, some people may remember that, but that's okay. Sony's allowed to do that. Sony's allowed to do that. Once upon a time, Sony was going to cut off all services to PS3, but that's okay, because that's Sony. You know, we rock behind all the Sony ponies. Oh, we rock with them. Okay, they want us to upgrade, we're going to upgrade. We're gonna stand behind them. We're gonna stand behind. They wanna rob us. They wanna rob us for all these microtransactions. They wanna charge us. They wanna charge us $70. That's okay. Cause we're gonna rock with them. It doesn't matter. They're brainwashed, bro. These fanboys out here are brainwashed. There's nothing you can say or do to change their mind. That's why I do not argue with them. The what it would be pointless is talking to a brick wall. I might as well just stand at the wall and just talk to myself if I'm going to try to argue with a Sony pony or a diehard fanboy that you cannot convince that how is this wrong? They're not making they're not making this make sense on both ends why it would be wrong because it's okay when Sony makes a big deal happen, but if Xbox try to make a deal happen, it's bad. It's bad for business, it's wrong. They're trying to destroy gaming. They're trying to compete at a very high level, which Sony does not want them to do, obviously. It's, 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 the proof is in the pudding, bro. Come on now. Come on. These Decepticons don't want competition. Okay? Sony don't want competition. It's clear as day. Like a lot of people, you clearly can, even if you're a fanboy, you clearly can see, you clearly can see they don't want competition. They don't want competition, man. Like, because if they didn't care or if they were the market leaders, right? They're the market leaders. So all the regulators over there and, and everybody had to pretty much pass the deal to go through. 
you definitely have to look at that. You definitely have, if you're the market leaders, why are you over here crying like a little baby with a stanky diaper? You know, you over here, you over here crying and bickering and whining about you can't compete. You, you, there's nothing that can amount to a Call of Duty game. Activision, they're the biggest brand in the world. They're they're the top selling game year in, year out. They're making annual releases every year that the top of the charts. They're topping all of their AAA bangers all combined together. And they don't want to let up that 30%. They don't want to let that 30% go. But it's okay if they charge their own fan base 30% extra, right? On top of that 30% and double back and shut down services to their own fan base. Steal $5 billion from their own fan base. Get sued for making garbage trash consoles that fans are suing them for. Just too much going on. Sony don't care about you guys. They don't care. It's way too much going on in these gaming streets, guys. And I'm going to leave it right there, man. We're going to jump back into it later on because this topic has been kind of getting a little crazy week in, week out about the whole Sony vs. Xbox thing, the whole Call of Duty Activision deal thing. Sony have been getting more green, more greedier, more grimier, trying to make their fan base pretty much make up for all the losses that that they have been taking all of the billions and billions of dollars that's going out and sony don't like to take a l so if you guys are wondering why they're being so salty guys you guys have to you already know what to do man make sure you smash that like that subscribe button click that notification bell guys so i can keep you guys notified on all of the new latest and greatest going down in these gaming streets and if you guys have a pc I will put a link down in the description so you guys can get into the PlayStation ecosystem. So if you cannot find a PS5, I know a lot of people out there want one. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, man, I'm, a, I'm for all the gamers. I don't, I don't just believe we should just lock down everything from gamers and we should just block them out and just forget about people like PS4, Xbox One people and there's not enough consoles out here. So if you have a PC, I will put a link down in the description so you guys can go order um, PlayStation Plus Premium and I highly recommend you guys to plug up your uh, Ethernet cables to your PCs, desktops or your laptop so you can have a, a, a better connection and I will put one down there for Game Pass so if you guys never really tried Game Pass and you want to give it a try on Xbox Team, you know, come on over here to Xbox Team Xbox or you can be on team playstation either one but i would put the link down in the description so you guys can sign up for xbox game pass ultimate so you guys can pretty much jump into that ecosystem because i know a lot of people they just don't have the money to go out here and keep you know reading up on new consoles 